Hey guys, Aaron Baker, No Sugar Coated News, doing something a little bit different here, doing a product review. I know when I go to the internet, uh, I buy something on the internet, I go to YouTube, I look to see what people have done out there for product reviews. And here it is, an unboxing of the Pelican 1510 uh, carry-on case, uh, watertight, dustproof, and I was disappointed. $146 for a cardboard box? Disappointment. And then I've realized I have to open it. So I got my trusty uh, steak knife here. I bought this from uh, B&H uh, Photo and Video out of New York there. Uh, great website. So let's check it out. Opening up my cardboard box here. Ooh. What is this? Bunch of bunch of air here. Wow, what is a small little box? Oh, you know, I see B and H. I bought some other stuff too along with it. So this is not just the uh, the Pelican 1510 case. It was going to be large, right? Well, here it is, a small box here with inside this big box. I guess I'll do my other product reviews here. Uh, a different time though. We're we're here for this Pelican 1510 case. Um, so solid case. I saw some other reviews. Uh, we can talk about it a little bit more here. Uh, I know it is supposed to be watertight up to 30 feet and it's supposed to float in salt water with up to uh, 60 pounds in it. And that's exactly what I'm looking for because when I'm on a plane, this is why I bought it because it's, it's carry-on size. And when I get, you know, my plane gets shot down by a rogue missile and the uh, Strait of Hormuz, I want the FFA to not find the black box of the plane, but to find my camera. You know, that's, that's what it's all about. So here it is, made of um, uh, Capolum, uh, ABS plastic uh, Capolumer. Um, pretty solid here. Yeah. I want to throw it around, but you know, like anything, still afraid it'll break. Of course, this handle, I could break it. I'll be honest, I could snap this thing off, but if I try, otherwise it, it's fine. This would be fine through uh, going through an airport. Um, surprised how small it is. Uh, I was really expecting it to be a little bit bigger. I know some of my carry-on luggage is larger. Um, let's let's open it up. See if I can fit my equipment in here. That's the key. Uh, uh, to be honest, uh, with how much equipment I have, you know, this is going to be tight. It's going to be tough for me to fit it in here. To be honest, um, I you know with my uh, lavalier mics, belt packs, uh, my on cam. Uh, Shotgun mic. Uh, I have more than one camera. You got to have more than one camera. Um, backups. So here it is. Two two foam inserts here that you can pluck out um, and design it for whatever you're uh, carrying in here. Um, and then top uh, egg crate. Bottom is just solid. Uh, I think I'll be able to make it work. But it's gonna be it's gonna be tight. Um, yeah, and here's the the valve for uh, air pressure when you're in in flight, of course. So you get a. Although it is still waterproof, it's said. Uh, locks. You know, you can pack a lot of money in this thing, so you want to keep it keep it close to you on the plane, right? Carry it on. That's the that's the key. And then, like I said, when you're you're shot down, you, you want uh, you know you may die, but you want your your baby to be okay. And that's that's the point of this. Uh, definitely solid. You're not going to have any problems. Your stuff is going to be in going to going to be safe in it, and that is what it's about. It's a weird. I see the wheel assembly here in this back uh, carrying s slide out has this uh, different type of plastic on it. Maybe that's the uh, different type of uh, the ABS. 
Um, other than that, got to get the phone. Looks good, happy. I'll do more product reviews and let you know about all the equipment I have here. So take care. See you later.